Flamer. The Flamer has been around since ancient Greece, and you can be sure their enemies called it being Greeked. Which probably isn't all that different from now, because face it, when someone sprays you with flammable gas and you are well and truly fucked, the name comes from the German Flammenwerfer, which is a dick move because it sounds like you should be roasting marshmallows with it, not eyeballs. But we digress. Robodog. We're pretty sure somebody thought to themselves that only one thing would make man's best friend even better uh, was if it could dispose of its own waste. The Robodog is the next best thing, with implants to stop it from taking a dump in the first place. Where the poop goes, nobody knows. But it could explain why Robodogs are so aggressive all the time. Rex, are you there? Hell of a plan, Doc. I hate to lose you. I mean, a, a fine soldier like yourself. Objective complete. Get to these coordinates. Summon the plague? Sure, game. Whatever you want. Doc, I think I'm ready. What do you know about this place? It only opens for the worthy. The area has some remarkable properties. Dragon blood becomes supercharged inside it, leading me to suspect it's a ley line hub, if you believe in Lockyer's theories of solstice alignments, and thus rife with energy output. Be careful, Rex. That place is filled with... death. What kind of death? The dangerous kind, Rex. Trust your might. Yes, test your might. Only those who survive the labyrinth of blood are worthy of the prize. What happened to my gear? Unknown. Prepare for combat! Uh, the running dead are now running with guns. Well, they do have to prove our worthiness, don't they? Just the beginning. 
a new weapon. Well, you know, they got nothing better to do.
Now we're talking. Kill star. It's Sloan's bedtime, and I plan to tuck him in under six feet of dirt. This is the kill star. I feel rock and roll already. Concern. Detecting elevated body temperature. Shit balls. I'm burning up. Your body isn't used to that much energy. We need to teach your nervous system and muscles to properly channel the kill star. Spider. Should have been him strapping this thing on. If you can't do it with him, Rex, do it for him. You're right. I need to even the score. For Spider? No. For humanity. Training montage! <laughs> Tells me you're still holding back. Don't worry, Doc. I won't hold back anymore. I want to be blinded with your cyber love. Maybe not use the robot hand for that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Oh, great. Dr. Darling is one of those types that can't make up her fucking mind. I never thought a cyber commando could be so gentle. I know. My organs, my bones, my blood are 85% synthetic. But you're still 100% man. At least, the parts that matter. Oh, Rex. Is this truly it? No. Not until Sloane's dead, Elizabeth. He's gonna fire those rockets on every continent in the world. He's a monster, Rex. The new payload will infect everyone. They'll become prehistoric savages. Society will collapse. It... There will be a new Stone Age. And what emerges will no longer be human. He thinks he's doing everyone a favor, but so am I, by killing him first. You saved me before, Rex. Now, it's time to save the world.
Elizabeth? No. Alert. New parameters enabled. Stand by for updated objectives. What? Rex, it's me, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. If you're hearing this, it means something's happened to me. Rex, before I met you, I thought... I thought I'd never love a man again. I know you think of yourself as less than human, but you carry something more precious than your one billion dollars worth of military spec hardware. More powerful than the hydrogen energy cell in your chest. You carry a human soul with you everywhere you go. And you carry my heart. Your arm now opens the high security bunker inside the compound. Go get it. Objective. Breach Danko compound and access high security bunker. And Rex, don't do it for me. Do it for world peace. The Kill Star. What's better than having a tank strapped to your arm? The Kill Star, a weapon based on a mysterious design whose origins are lost in the fogs of history, this arm laser cannon feeds the bio amplitude levels of the human body into reaching pitch resonance polarity. Did that make sense? Probably not. But then again, the arm laser cannon, warning, may give you eye herpes, but arm laser cannon! Blood Dragon! Nobody knows where Blood Dragons came from, but it's a firm middle finger at humanity that adds a rung to the top of the food chain just outside our reach. These mysterious, almost alien beasts are heavily armored. Their blood is a mutagen. They have excellent hearing. And they shoot fire from their eyes. I mean, sure, the dragons are nearly blind, but what do they care? They shoot fire from their eyes! Oh my god, so 80s schlocky. You own the Killstar, a mysterious weapon fueled by your life force. It uses your health to fuel its destructive powers. Yeah, you really don't need another weapon when you have the kill star. Recommendation. Breach the main gate. I've been wanting to kick those assholes in their assholes all day. Let's go. Knock knock. Objective. Kill everything. Everything. Use you.
just programming. We even share the same blue color blood now, son. Wrong, Sloan. My blood is red, white, and blue. America! Fuck yeah! Gonna save the day with the motherfucking kill star! He had a splitting head in on the blood. I'm on fire. Now so are you. And I got a rocket launcher. Now that's a power up. It's kind of like what it must be like to be Dr. Manhattan. Just point at it and then it dies.
in the week. No more politicians and lawyers and goddamn Democrats. It's gonna be survival of the fittest. What the hell is this? I am the Battle Harbor Dragon Assault Strike System. Your kill star controls my brain cage, instructing me that you are my rider. Hello, good. I'm equipped with a hydraulically powered Terror 4000 cannon and titanium trauma plates. I think I'll take you out for a spin. Literally looks like something right out of Ark Survival. This is for you, Spider. God. Well, you know, we already jumped the shark. Literally! I'm a firing my laser. There it is! There it is! Do you like riding me? Do it, Battle Dragon! Fire your laser! God. I love this game. Some of you... Some of you might be asking, why? Why the Tame Blood Dragon? Why the Kill Star? Why a reactor in the middle of a freaking, uh... The hydroelectric plant? The thing is, you're looking at it completely the wrong way. The real question is, WHY NOT?! Killing I got left in me is killing you. And then what? Retire to the suburbs? Mow the lawn every Saturday and watch football on Sunday? That ain't you, Vince. You don't mow down lawns. You mow down lives. You're crazy. I'm a god now. Not just man. Not just machine. But a fusion of both. A new Zeus on high ruling the new species of man. You could have been one of my cyber priests, serving with free will at my right hand. But I guess it's time to retire your mock wars once and for all. You guessed wrong, Sloan. Dead wrong. Alert. Systems com compromised. Unable to kill Sloan. I'm so sorry, Robert. What a waste. You've grown all soft. <laughs> like them Washington politicians. Do you know they've been negotiating for peace with the Reds? 
Peace, Rex. Peace. Ah! Why can't I kill you? You pathetic son of a bitch. You ain't nothing but a bundle of wires and programs. There was nothing left of Rex Power Code when they found you. Just DNA without a soul. No. I gave you my memories, my experiences, my childhood. No! Rex. I programmed you. I made you. Oh, boy. I and your father. No! There it is! Rex, maybe turning you into a machine saved your life. But it never changed what really mattered. Got a little bit of freaking like Final Fantasy VII, and then the Star Wars drop. More than a collection of wires and lines of code. I believe in you, Rex. Now just believe in yourself. Lights out, Rex. No. Lights on. Rex! You killed Colonel Sloan! I guess all that power just went to his head. So what now, Rex? We gotta come in here and take everything. Your research, the weapons, the dragon's blood. Is that what you want? An army of monsters? That's what Sloan wanted, but I'm not him. I reactivated all the fail-safe booby traps in the bunkers. Just one push, and everything goes up in flames. You... you saved us, Rex. Or just maybe, Doc. This time, you saved me. No, Rex. We saved each other. Dun, 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 dun. Well, that was Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Unfortunately, a missed opportunity, because had this game been given the attention, and particularly the money, from the overarching production studio, for the developers to create an experience where the gameplay matches the kind of bombastic story theme that they were going for, uh, it, this could have been something incredible. Instead, we get Far Cry 3 with a neon sheen slapped over a bunch of stuff, you know, dark, cloudy environment, and funny, but still obviously created with budgetary concerns in mind animatics. I mean, it's evocative of comic books and so forth, so that's a thing, too. I mean, some of the greatest creative endeavors have been strongly informed, so to speak, by uh, the limitations of the creation of the media. The original Star Wars, they, like, had almost no footage left over. When they finished that, they had no money, and yet, epic film, classic. So... And I mean, we think of it as being a big thing now, but of course, until it happened, no. Now, beneficially, if... Because, again, this is going for the bombastic 80s action science fiction thing, but the gameplay didn't really match up with that. You'll notice me especially, I spent a lot of time sneaking around. It was hard difficulty. That was sort of a necessity. This really wanted more of a Doom 2016, Doom Eternal type of gameplay to match with its sort of thematic uh, predisposition. That didn't happen. Beneficially, a game does exist where it did happen. That combination of a cyberpunk, you know, dark, neon-drenched environment with kind of Doom-esque gameplay, modern Doom. And it's called Turbo Overkill, which I will be LPing. Uh, 
and you all will be able to see when it's actually done. Not in the sense of me LPing it actually being done, in the sense of the actual game being released in its entirety. Episode 3 has not come out yet. And I'm still learning the collectible locations for Episode 2, so that's also going to take a minute. But, yeah, um... This has been an enjoyable game. Uh, if you're not... If you don't have a soft spot for the nostalgia of the era this is trying to emulate, maybe it's less or so your thing. And, uh, don't take offense at the notion that I surgically removed Far Cry 3 from this game. I'm not suggesting Far Cry 3 was a bad game, but the gameplay was a bad fit for what they were trying to go for here. It's definitely a mismatch. But I have enjoyed myself, and I hope all of my viewers have enjoyed themselves watching this series. Feel free to check out other things I've done. The channel's video library certainly isn't shrinking. Um, thank you all so much for watching, and for those who've subscribed, thank you very much for that. And I will see all of you next time will be during this channel's third anniversary over the month of April. So, that'll be interesting. But until then, stay happy and healthy out there, and as always, fare thee well.